Welcome to Tana Toraja, a region located on the island of Sulawesi, Indonesia. Tana Toraja is known for its unique cultural practices, which have fascinated visitors from around the world. The region has a population of over 200,000, with the majority of the people belonging to the Toraja ethnic group. Home to some Sulawesi's most stunning landscapes and one of Indonesia's most compelling traditional cultures, it's no wonder Tana Toraja is high on many bucket lists. The visual allure is immediate, with villages clustered around elaborately carved and painted houses with boat-shaped roofs, and towering terraces of emerald green rice paddies, all of which is overseen by a protective necklace of jagged jungle-clad hills. The Toragians have a rich cultural heritage and are famous for their elaborate funeral rites, which are considered some of the most unique and interesting in the world. The funeral rites in Tana Toraja are a celebration of life, rather than a mourning of death. It is believed that death is not the end, but a mere transition from one world to another. Therefore, the Toragians make sure that the dead are given a proper send-off to ensure that their journey to the afterlife is smooth. In Tana Toraja, the dead are treated as active members of the family and the bodies are kept in the home until enough resources can be gathered to hold a funeral ceremony. The funerals can last for days or even weeks, and they are a celebration of life and a way of connecting with ancestors. The people of Tana Toraja practice a complex funeral ceremony known as Rambu Solo which dictates that the deceased can only be buried during a certain time of year. For this reason, Tana Toraja has a funeral season that runs from June to October, the driest months in South Sulawesi. According to the Toraja beliefs, the soul of the deceased must be delivered to reach heaven, and Rambu Solo is an essential part of this journey. The perfection ceremony determines the position of the deceased spirit, whether it reaches the level of the gods, to Mambali Puang, or becomes a patron deity, Diata. The Toraja people consider this a crucial ceremony that must be carried out, as the soul of the deceased will rumble if the ceremony is not performed. The funeral ceremony is determined by the social status of the family of the deceased, measured by the number of animals sacrificed. The higher the social status of the deceased, the more animals are required to be slaughtered. For instance, a noble kinship will sacrifice between 24 and 100 buffaloes, while middle status kinships may only sacrifice 8 buffaloes and 50 pigs. Buffalo is particularly important in the ceremony, as it is believed to lead the deceased to the afterlife. Before the buffalo is slaughtered, the body of the deceased is turned to face south to allow them to travel together to the next life. However, the cost of the funeral is substantial, and some families may collect money first before carrying out the ceremony. As a result, the deceased's body is embalmed and kept in the house, sometimes for years until the family can afford a proper send-off. During the funeral ceremony, people in Tana Toraja focus all their time and money on the event, which can be considered one of the most expensive places to die. The funeral lasts all day, and the main event is the slaughtering of a buffalo, which indicates the social status and wealth of the deceased's family. The ceremony also features various cultural performances, such as the buffalo fight, Mapasilaga Tadam, where the buffalo to be sacrificed is fought before being slaughtered, and the foot or leg competition, Sisemba. The Rambu Solo ceremony has become a popular cultural attraction, drawing tourists from all over the world to witness this unique and ancient tradition. With its rich cultural heritage and intriguing customs, Tana Toraja remains a must-visit destination for anyone seeking an unforgettable cultural experience. To get to Tana Toraja one must fly to Sultan Hassanuddin Airport in Makassar, capital of the province of South Sulawesi. As a hub for East Indonesia there are many airlines flying to and from Makassar. Flights from Makassar to Tana Toraja are operated seven times a week, with an average of one flight per day. All flights depart at 9.50. On this non-stop route, you can fly in economy only. The fastest direct flight from Makassar to Tana Toraja takes 55 minutes. The flight distance between Makassar and Tana Toraja is 131 miles, or 211.